Hey guys, this is going to be your tutorial on the orbital. Now before we begin, first of all, I'd like to point out that what really helps with orbitals is having a swivel that looks kind of like that. Um, basically, right now I'm not using one because this is kind of old. I found it in my family's old fishing box. But basically what a swivel does is that it turns like that for an infinite amount of time. So you save yourself from strangling, strangling or tangling actually your strings so um basically if you can get one that's bigger and sturdier then that should work a lot that should work pretty well for you um if you have flow toys then the newer strings of the flow newer flow toy strings actually come with built-in swivels and they're actually even a lot nicer now um one more thing is that when if you are using flow toys or any glow sticks that have two ends they have multiple colors. It's pretty cool if you switch the two colors around. So right now I have pink near the rope and blue away from the rope, and then I have blue near the rope and pink away from the rope. So it's opposite, and this creates a nice effect when you're uh, making your orbitals. But now on to the actual orbitals. Basically, orbital looks like this. You cross your strings, and then you get kind of a circle like that. So there's two ways you can go into your orbital. The one I find easier is just three beating. And then at the end of the turn, you just spread your arms apart and make one last circle when they intersect. And your planes are gonna be set up perfectly that way. So you don't even have to worry about it. Well, another way you could do is just straight up from two circles like this, from two anti-spin circles. Um, just do two anti-spins where they cross in the middle and then you uh, just intersect them and then you have an orbital. Even though I'm not very good at those, I'm better at the 3B. But basically you end up having a situation where you have two, like, two circles like this and then you just cross them and make an orbital. Anyways, I'm going to teach this for the 3B because I think it's easier since your plans are set up, set up perfectly right from there. So basically at the end of a t the turn of your 3B, um, typically it should be on your less dominant side, or maybe that's just how it is for me. So on my left side, I'm going to do the intersection. So at the very end of the turn, on my 3B, I have them intersect right here, and then I pull them and turn right 90 degrees at the same time. So I'm going to try to do this as slowly as possible. Intersect, pull. A lot of, a lot of people, when they're first learning this, including me, have the same mistake. Basically, they kind of cross their strings and then immediately pulled. And this is oftentimes a problem because you don't let them wrap around enough. And if you don't let them wrap around enough, then there's, the, the orbital's not gonna last as long. So basically, you have to let them wrap around a bit and then you pull. So one last time, have them cross on your side. That's, and then you pull over 90 degrees and you tug them apart at the same time. And that's basically how you made your orbit. So cross, pull, and yeah. Also, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do with your orbital if you can make it last long enough. So like, um, the orbital, and then you could go around your head, for example, do it this way, like that. Or if you could really make it last a while, you could orbital and then jump rope it. Like that, there's a lot of cool stuff. And that's what else is there? Oh, and then one more thing, orbital anti-spin. I'm not very good at this, but if you orbital and then have an anti-spin, the opposite direction right in front of you. That was awful. Um, like this. It slows down the orbital, but looks awesome. So it basically makes an anti-spin kind of thing in front of you. And that's your tutorial on the orbital. One of the next tutorials will be on orbital extension and extensions.